All right, welcome back. We're going to do a second playthrough of She Sees Red because we are thoroughly confused. Yeah, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> just like, we're not, we're not waiting. I have, I have so, so many theories about this So now. many questions. I, mean, I also don't know who everybody is. That wasn't the daughter in the storeroom. No, it wasn't the daughter in the storeroom, but I'm pretty sure the cop is a plant in this plan, and they kidnapped the actual cop and put her in the storeroom instead. So she was killed, and that's why that dude crushed the phone when she made the anonymous call so they couldn't trace it back to her. Yep. That's the only thing I think is, like, foolproof out of all my theories. But I don't know. So are we doing a second playthrough? Oh, no, no, because you can't just finish it, right? Is it just going to go back to the beginning? What's happening? Second playthrough. <laughs> second playthrough starts you over. Every choice matters. We're, this is it. We finally got a game where all the choices matter! I think I know how to get some good stuff going on here. Well, I mean, we could just do opposites on all the choices. Nope. I'm going I'm to change a few of them. See what happens? Yep. Dude, the pencil in the ear would suck for real. Oh, though. God. skipping scenes faster now. Uh, it might be a little faster. I say you did leave it alone the first time around, which we found out that's a part of the plan. But that's that's what I was thinking. Yeah, but the second guy is not. So you changing that one? Yeah. I knew it. Jim fell asleep here naked again. <laughs> With his dick in a paint can. <laughs> <laughs> Stirring paint. The tip was correct. Please call the investigators. I didn't even see your dial, did you? Yeah, right. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Nobody has a fucking flip phone anymore. <laughs> your colleagues will scare my clients. Can they come in through the back door? Are there cameras here? The cameras are in the public area. There's no signal here. Oh, you are so heavy. Like a mammoth. You're so fat. Please help her. Stop. You need to wear gloves for that. And where do I find gloves? Hmm? Use plastic bags. Yeah, dude. Yeah. No matter how many times I see that, I'm still going to think he's an idiot every single time. <laughs> like, he's probably the person I hate the most in this whole you this know, whole game. That's why I'm so happy he got thrown into a fucking lamp. Yeah. <laughs> or the fluorescent lighting. Just a constant reminder that he's an idiot on his face. Yep. <laughs> Team in my office. Am I right? If something goes wrong, you'll put all the blame on us. Not self defense, it appears. Bitch, it might have been. <laughs> <laughs> How are you connected to Thailand? Tourism. 
I need more details. I doubt someone. I smuggle cocaine out. there in my ass recreationally. Details. <laughs> I've been recreationally for fun. <laughs> Anybody leave this message for you? I don't know. What's the message say? Yeah, that's what I want to know. It just says P. Like, <laughs> does, yeah. Does it, <laughs> what's it say? Like his first name and like is a pee pee boo boo head. <laughs> it's just, it just says sweet and sour on the side or something. <laughs> sweet and sour Russian. That was, <laughs> that was my nickname in high school. How did you get that? Just the type that leaves corpses behind. Ooh. Yeah. Yet. But you might insist on his presence. It's all starting to make sense. Again, is it? Um, yeah, because I, I recognize the phone now, because that's the daughter. Is it the daughter? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. something happened to the daughter. I think she tries to leave. Oh, my four-year-old niece <laughs> gave me this quest. <laughs> <laughs> There's an NPC down this way. <laughs> Remember, folks, everyone's an NPC until you learn their name. Excuse me, where's the restroom? Can't hear you. Can where I can find the restroom? Restroom, okay. See right over there? See the gate? Behind the pink pool. Why did you... Can you show me? Huh? That long. Like... Okay, but quick. <laughs> He was busy like the whole time. You could have easily just like. It's also less suspicious if he had just walked past. Yeah. Because like the girl doesn't know who he is. Yeah, the girl doesn't give a shit. She has to pee. Like, she has to pee, dog. Like... You heard the urgency. Oh, can we take this guy out this time? Or are you trying to stealth it again? Uh, well, the option is to distract him or hide. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm gonna leave this one up to you. I'm gonna stay hide again. Someone yeah, yeah. Walking towards him. This someone was clearly part of my staff. My guys wouldn't let him go without a fight. I'm gonna jerk off the fucking door again for 20 minutes. Here it is. I'm just gonna sit here and fit him with these knobs. He says you can run, but you can't hide. I say we try hiding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the main decisions that I, uh, off the top of my head that I wanted to fix were. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not kill the second guard. Yeah. And take the cocaine instead of getting rid of the cocaine. Aww. And then uh, um, inspect the wall in uh, oh, yeah, in the, the office. office right. What was in there? Plus, I get to see this my favorite scene in the whole game. <laughs> this guy fucking drew off a light and then caught his hand. Like Maybe if I tap the, the the outer casing some more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no electrician, but, uh... I'm pretty sure I can do a light bulb. Eh, Apparently you fucking eh, can't. You shock yourself like a dipshit. <laughs> we need you to pretend to try to fix this light. Blue 
light, red light, yellow light. <laughs> you guys need to pick a fucking light bulb. <laughs> Oh, I suppose the the glass is actually probably blue. Lots of broken. Oh, and since it's broken, it's normal. Normal, sure. I love his smarmy look. He's great. He's like, I can kill every single one of you. <laughs> you can do it right and it's just now. like she's motherfucking right, ain't she? <laughs> Remember when I busted your face on a light? Wait for it. I this is. Like, if we make all the decisions this is the exact same so we can watch the scene over and over again, like... <laughs> We've been tipped off. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Boom! Yes! I, I can saying, see it twice! <laughs> have been killed in your club. <laughs> right here, behind his back. I'm gonna call you Biggin, and I'm gonna call you Cheeks. <laughs> or Cheek. Because you only got one left. You surround yourself with amateurs. Maybe a mob boss that really hurt my feelings. <laughs> this is this is another one of those moments where it's just like, dude, you do not have to be this sneaky. You could just walk right by that. Yeah, like they're not even gonna. Instead, he's like, ninja run. <laughs> There's like half a doorway. Not even one step, and you're there. Ninja crawl. <laughs> Dude, you're not solid snake. Like you don't need to fucking do this. What right? difficulty am I on? <laughs> Money motion damage. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like super like genius, and it's like on easy. <laughs> I've seen this video before. Two dudes, one ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> All plan. Oh. Little girl at HQ gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm a hoodie ninja. Why'd you take a shit in your hands away from a fist? Take a shit in your hands? I missed that the first time. Yeah. Hand me a favor. Hand me the screwdriver. What, what are those two? Like, can we see that this time? Like, what are those two motherfuckers doing that requires four hands? You got it? You got it, bud? That's the best part about people doing like construction work and stuff like oh, that. Oh, it looks like they're putting lighting like all up and down the hallway. Yeah. An hour ago. Like I said, this is like the best part. Like 30 minutes, no more. Um, I take back what I said about them. Like that hallway looks motherfucking lit now. Yeah. Lit as fuck, man. The problem is they're working with live wires and that's that's uh that's a hazard. We shouldn't yeah. do that. Mr. Sukhanov. Mr. Sukhanov. I remember. He had a tattoo on his neck. Some sort of Chinese writing, I don't know. Mr. Suhanov. Mr. Strogodov. Do you know anybody with a tattoo like that? I don't. The, 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 the symbol on the guy's neck is like literally his name. <laughs> like sometimes the sometimes the scene when the guy's in it and then it cuts to like the future when the, the gal's in it, it looks like it's been like six months. Yeah. It's just like the set looks a lot cleaner and like newer. Mm-hmm. Probably has something to do with the lighting. Uh, 
<laughs> that four-year-old better have been right about these door codes. <laughs> Coming in four hours. <laughs> you better fucking hurry. Sorry. Sorry if I made these jokes already, but it's still so funny. We have a license. There's nothing in there. It's being renovated. I think it would interest him. Ha ah, For no ah. reason! <laughs> yeah, see, he went the Tim way and ripped all the plastic down for no reason. Yep. That kind of cover just comes off like that. Like magnets or what the fuck? Well, didn't he have the little. They had the little locks at the top, I thought, that he was fucking with. He didn't fuck with anything that time. He just, like, pe like peeled it off. Really? Yeah. I don't remember this part. What's he doing now? Um, he's pulling the um, back. The only difference is, is that's different because I don't remember that the first time around. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? And last time he didn't use a roller. I remember he had that thing in his hand. Oh yeah, he, we used our spike. Yeah. And he our meant, throat spike. Yeah, and he's like. Fucked around with the spike. Now we're gonna get paint all over the bag. Right? You can see it right now. I mean, he already left his fucking fingerprints like all the fuck up in this place. Yep. Whoa! Oh, well, that's the second guard! Yep. I like how he's kind of playing hurt. Yeah. Get him! Yeah! Yes! Kick his ass! Kick his ass like broken fucking glass! DDT! DDT! Fuck yeah! <laughs> God damn! Alright, now get your coat. <laughs> get your coat, take it with you. The fuck happened in here? We have the, this is the same scene from the first time around, but we don't get the last time we didn't get to see why it was all fucked up because that guy was dead already. You remember there was stuff? Oh well, no, because now they're examining the stuff on the floor. Yeah, now that now we've got racking that's falling over and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a corpse. Done. He's done. Dude, I want the confidence of that man. Like, he is standing in that room knowing full well he is the most badass motherfucker in there. <laughs> I'm like, I will kill you, all your friends, like your family, it doesn't matter before you even realize what's happening. Oh! Oh, this is the guy's sidekick. Is it? Yeah. Stroganoff's sidekick. That's what it said. He's gonna feed you. Feed you to the dogs for this. Okay. He's old school. Should we kill this guy again? 
He blows up for every little thing. Wait, 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 stop, 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 I'll think. Like, I'm done with part of this guy again. Plus, I like that sound. Yeah, what were we, what were we pouring into him? No, that was the machete. Oh, was it? Yeah, we were putting the machete oh. in his mouth. I thought it was like pouring oil into his mouth. No, no, no. He put the machete in his mouth so that the guy stopped moving because he's choking on blade. And that's when you hear him go, tink, because he just pushes it through the back of his neck. Killing my man. So we're going to keep moving. And you're going to do your fucking job. I like how I love how tense this this scene gets because it's like three guys they spread out instinctively, instinctually, yep. because they know there's could be coke in that bag and then they're fucked and they have to kill two cops, and the one guy's like, I could probably take all three of you on. Yep. Dude, the amount of like confidence in that guy of just like yeah. You know, and he's like, don't try it. Don't try it. I will fucking kill you and everybody else in this room and then leave. <laughs> Who's this? Do you know this one? You're right, though. This scene is like super tense. Where are you going? I'm getting my daughter. I thought that was a great, this is a great use of cinematography. Just like two, two times he's calling somebody and they're not answering. Mm. I love watching people frantically make a phone call and they're not getting through. Who is Maxim? The guy who's lying between cans of paint. Probably head back. There's only one way out of here through the warehouse. On this picture, there's a young man standing next to your daughter. Who is he? As you can see, my daughter is young and beautiful. There's always a bunch of guys that want to hang out with her. Check the stash while I distract her. You keep newspaper clippings about all of her suitors. Of course, of course, of course. fucking. Trophy honey douche. <laughs> hey man, let's check. Oh. 
that's one one way to get out paying a check. has been in charge of the club. She's been the manager here for several months. Are you gonna need her phone number? There's no use. She's not answering anyway. Don't worry, we'll ask her about those newspaper clippings when she calls back. Mr. Suhana, I believe that the time has come for you to contact your lawyer. Yep. Boy! Hey, boss. Yeah, lawyer up, dog. Where's the gun? Get down! Away from the window! I don't really understand the point of this scene. Get down, get away from the window. It's close by. Like, it's a shotgun. Yes. Yeah, but the windows like lead out into like oh, things like the hallway and the dance floor. Well, that window that they're saying get away from is outside, and they're on like the third floor. It looks like. Nah. I mean, I guess she has every right to like be worried about a sniper, I guess, but. Get up now. I was never on the floor. We <laughs> went over this 30 minutes ago. I really think we should. We need backup now. How many? All of them. I'll do everything I can within my power and more. But I'll find the bastard. But we don't need backup. Where is this room? I will, but, like, I'll revisit what you said earlier. There are nine screens on there. <laughs> idea to make impulsive choices would you rather be gunned down then well, how he looks at her like what do you think <laughs> you want me to take him out <laughs> That's the thing too, is like, if you're planning that type of thing, and if I was in his shoes, that wouldn't be the first thing I would do. Nope. Because my expectation would be, he's probably not right behind the fucking door. Oh, hello, asshole. You know what I mean? Yep. Now, is when I pop around and shoot through the fucking door, because I know he's standing there. <laughs> and he's firing off all six shots. Yep. And that, I noticed when we got the view from the bar again, that's who that was, with the hair and stuff like that. Looks like she's just dressing like now, because I saw, I, this time around I saw the tattoo on the neck.
I wonder what happens if we just send this completely off the fucking rails. Fuck. Like, we don't follow the plan at all. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna get a third playthrough anyway. Probably. No, I didn't change enough. I don't know who the hell that is. Paradise Nightclub. There's been a triple homicide in the storage area. Search the room where they stored the chairs. You'll find a stash of cocaine in here. What's next? I just want a good night's sleep. I think that's his daughter. Because look, he has a like, tear in his eye and everything. I thought this was his daughter. Yeah, but that's three months ago. This is three months ago? That's what it said, yeah. Okay, thanks. Call your father when this one leaves. And in fact, the woman in the chair looks like his daughter. Yeah. That makes sense, because I thought that I thought that was after. Well, that didn't, uh, that didn't really answer any more questions. One more round, off the rails. One more round, off the rails. Hold on, I just want to piece together some things. So, dude with tattoo on his neck. Looks to be the woman with a painted tattoo on her neck. Instead. So the guy the with the tattoo on his neck from three months ago, when he went to Thailand, he died. I'm assuming he died, yes. And was involved with the daughter. Yes. So the daughter, dressed up as the guy with the tattoo on his neck. Someone dressed up as... Because the woman that died in the chair looked like his daughter. Based on his reaction. It probably is. It probably is. So, but the woman in the picture doesn't look like his daughter. It looked like the girl with the fake tattoo on her back. So when the picture was in the bag, when the cop opened up the, the bag with the cocaine in it, they're like, who is this? And they said, that's Yana. So I'm assuming Yana is the one dressing up like the guy as a disguise, who's also working with the other cop that's working with the female detective. But the one that came in when she was doing her makeup, that was the other security guard. That was Vaxxon. Was it? Because it, yeah. looked, it looked like the guy that could just kill everybody in that room. No, it was not him. Oh, okay. It was Maxim, the guy that kicked us off the ladder. Which, well, my theory, that wouldn't make sense. Because he would know that it was her. Yeah, but then he also wound up dead. Too. Yeah. So was there a double cross? Could have been a double cross. Could be two people. No, we don't have a whole lot of options to choose from, so just choose opposites of what we've done. From maybe from the first round. Off the rails. Off one more time. Fuck Off the rails. Fuck the plan. <laughs> Fuck the plan. Tune in the next episode where we fuck this plan. <laughs> yep, turn up, tune in next time. We're gonna, we're gonna play this one more time. Holy shit, no, we're gonna play this two more times. Look, scenes viewed. 35 of 62! Off the rails. Off the rails. One, one more time. time. Off the rails. Uh, I need more caffeine. See? Alright, bye. Bye.